Hey guys, welcome to the Corona Save Review Diaries. Today we want to take a look at a question that we get asked quite a lot here at Kronos, and that is what is the difference between the Ever Solo DMPA6 standard version and the Master Edition. So in this video we're going to discuss the different options here and also the improvements that you can expect to hear sonically. So what are the key differences between the standard version and the master edition? Well, visually you can see they're both very, very similar. Both using the same chassis, and therefore both the same size. However, there's some small visual details which can separate them. As you can see here, the Ever Solo branding is in gold in the master edition, as well as having the master edition badging here in the bottom. Whereas in the standard version, obviously it's just a silver Ever Solo branding. The LED lighting changes a little on the master as well with this orange gold colouring as against the white blue on the standard edition. As you can see the interfaces are both the same, both the exact same touchscreens and both the exact same size. So the key elements of these two models comes internally. And there's two key differences between the master edition and the standard edition and both those differences make a huge difference sonically. The first thing with the Master Edition is that you have two femto clock oscillators. Basically what that means in layman's terms is that is your internal digital processing. This therefore creates a much more accurate output and that helps across the entire music range. So your tops, your bottoms, and your mids and everything else in between are all improved because you're getting a much more accurate source. The other key difference here is the op amps in the Master Edition. So the op amps are what is helping to bias the DAX outputs. And essentially what that's doing is turning it from current into voltages. And it is that voltage that is then sent obviously to your single ended or your balanced output depending on what you're using. Sonically the difference you're going to hear with that is again much more accurate because the outputs that has been sent to your amplifier is a much better based, um, it's a much more level and therefore it is more accurate and there, that is going to come across in the sound. So again your highs, your lows, your mids and everything in between are going to be much much better represented and again this will affect the entire sound across the entire music spectrum. So that's why you're going to hear a huge huge difference between the master edition and the standard but that by no means takes away from how good the standard DMPA6 is. The master is a step up by all means, but this DMPA6 at its price point is still exceptional. It still features much of the technology of the master edition. It still has the same interface, the same outputs. It just doesn't quite have the same internal processing as the master edition. But of course, it comes in at a cheaper price range. So, by no way would I be saying that the, the DMPA6 standard is not a worthy product to consider. But if budget allows, you will hear vast improvements through the Master Edition. Both products are also available with external remotes, or they can be controlled via the app. Both use all the same streaming services, and both interact in a very similar way. So everything that you're going to hear between these two differences are mainly between the clock up and the op amps. Those are your two clear differences and that's really what you're going to hear sonically. But both products by all means are exceptional. The value for money aspect of these products is second to none and they've been a hugely hugely popular product here at Chronos Heavy. Obviously you get a lot of information from the screens and all that can be adjusted as well. So there's a lot of customization available in these products and both I think are well worth coming into here or taking a look at online on our website. There's, if you're into streaming, whether it's quite new to you or it's something that you're maybe just um, wanting to improve, the Ever Solos are definitely worth considering. We of course have other streamers from other brands if you want to go even more high end than that. However, at the price points, the Ever Solos are certainly something worth considering. So I hope that helped explain that question a little bit more. Um, of course, that's a very quick overview, so if you'd like a more detailed description, 
we can obviously go a little bit more in depth with you um, please feel free to contact us um, all our details will be at the bottom of this video and we'll look forward to hearing from you and uh, yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you soon